My eight must-have jailbreak tweaks for iOS. What is up, ladies and gentlemen? This is Jeff Benjamin with iDownloadBlog. Now, I'm going to show you eight must-have jailbreak tweaks that solve real problems on iOS. Now, these aren't just tweaks that I've arbitrarily chosen uh, to fill up a list. These are tweaks that I absolutely must have, that I absolutely use, and that hopefully you, no doubt, will find very, very useful, very handy. You will find these to be stable jailbreak tweaks that you'll want on your device as well. Now, I've chosen eight different tweaks, um, and I've chosen these very, very carefully, and I've curated this list over a series, over a period of time, and I find that these are the tweaks that I absolutely must have. Now, does that mean this, these are the only tweaks that I use? No, these aren't the only tweaks that I use, but if I was only limited to a certain set number of tweaks, this is as low as I could possibly go um, for this list. Eight tweaks or apps in some cases that I absolutely must have on my device. So let's just get started. The first one is Activator. Now, obviously that goes without saying. Activator is a stable jailbreak tweak, probably as stable as staple can get because so many different tweaks use it. I use it for a variety of different reasons. One of the reasons that I use it for is, is for taking screenshots. Now, I know that may sound weird, but I actually assign a, a screenshot taking action to a double tap of the status bar. And one reason that I do that is because in some instances, you cannot take a screenshot without, uh, it just won't, iOS just won't allow you to take a screenshot. I can't think of any particular instances right now off the top of my head, but just trust me on this one. Sometimes you cannot take a screenshot uh, of an element the way you would like it to appear. So um, what you'll have to do is assign some sort of activator gesture to that. So for uh, this demonstration, I've assigned a double tap of the status bar right here to the take screenshot action. So uh, that's just one example of how I use Activator. Basically, I use Activator because it makes executing certain actions extremely quick and easy, and I can do so uh, by assigning specific gestures to that. But that's just the tip of the iceberg with Activator. Lots of other tweaks use it, including Polis, which is also on this list. Uh, so we'll talk about that a little bit later. Now, the next absolutely must-have jailbreak tweak is called iTouch Secure. And I'm just gonna show you why this is so useful um, by means of logging into my banking app. Now, I have Bank of America here. I'm actually gonna close that out. I have Bank of America uh, here, so I'm gonna load that up, and you're gonna see the mobile banking interface come up. I have my ID saved on the Bank of America app. That's perfectly fine. I'm just gonna tap that. But when I wanna log in, I actually have to remember my passcode, and I have to log in with my passcode, which is extremely annoying uh, because it doesn't work with Touch ID natively. Um, even though Apple has opened up Touch ID access to third party developers, Bank of America, for whatever reason, and various numerous other banking apps still lag behind and have not supported Touch ID for whatever reason, I don't know why. But iTouch Secure brings Touch ID support to the Bank of America app and any other application that you want to use that requires a login, it will save that login to your keychain and allow you to access that keychain, uh, the login that's stored in that keychain via Touch ID. So all I have to do is tap here and put my finger on the Touch ID sensor and it logs me right in. Now I'm in my banking app. Wonderful, right? That saves me so much time and I definitely love I touch secure because of it. Now the next tweak is called Polis, one that I talked about a little earlier. Polis allows you to customize your control center. So you can probably already tell that my control center isn't like your control center if you don't have Polis installed. Uh, I can actually customize the toggles here. I can add additional toggles so I could turn on things like hotspot right there on the fly. I can respring. I can have, even have custom actions that I've created um, right there as well. And I also have custom quick launch shortcuts. So if I wanted to launch, for instance, uh, the one password app, I would just tap, tap that right there and that loads up one password ready for me to log in just like that. Uh, so you can see why Polis is such a great tweak. It allows you to really take control of Control Center. Now the next app that I wanna talk about, or the next tweak I wanna talk about is Safari Downloader Plus. 
This is a tweak that allows you to easily download pretty much anything via Safari. I'm gonna show you an example right now. So I have uh, Let's Talk Jailbreak up here. I wanna download the podcast directly to my phone. Normally you wouldn't be able to do that. Well, I'm gonna show you how you can do that right now. So I'm just gonna tap and hold on where it says direct download, and then you'll see a little pop-up box like normal, but this time there's an additional option in there that says download target. So I'm just gonna download that target link just by tapping that, and you can see the download interface pops up, and then I just tap the select button in the bottom right-hand corner after I've selected the folder that I want to save in, and it will start that download just like that. So if I wanna check the status of my download, I just hit this little button down here, and you can see the status of the downloads, download it to two and a half megs, etc., and it's speeding along there. Now the really nice thing about Safari Downloader Plus is it was recently updated to support resuming. So that means that I can actually kill the Safari app, and I can reopen it, and then I can go back and resume this download. See, it stopped at 5.5 megabytes, just tap the play button, and it picks right up where it left off. So Safari Downloader Plus is a really, really good jailbreak tweak, and it solves a real problem actually being able to download files on iOS or any file that you would like on iOS. Very handy uh, jailbreak tweak. Now the next tweak that I use is called Slices, and this again solves a real problem on iOS. See, you see the trend here, solving real issues with these tweaks, and that's why I consider these to be staples. So Slices, what this allows you to do is it allows you to have multiple accounts logged into a single application. So you see here Instagram, when I tap that, Instagram doesn't immediately open. It actually prompts me, what account do I want to log into? I already have two accounts logged into the Instagram app, and I can choose which one I want to lo log into, which one I want to open, just like this. So I want to open up the blog one. There is my blog Instagram account, just like that. So you can see why that's so useful. Now, the next tweak is called Touch Pose Plus, and I can just actually show you just by tapping on the screen. You see that little blue, uh, little blue tap? indicator that is touch pose a plus i personally use this this is a staple for me because i record videos like this one screencasts of ios and um it's extremely useful to you guys to be able to see where i'm tapping on screen for instance if i tapped on instagram you could see i tapped on instagram you could see i tapped on blog just like that because you see the tap indicator on the screen that is extremely handy, and that is why I use Touch Pose Plus. For me, it's absolutely instrumental for my workflow. Now, the next one is iFile, and again, this is instrumental for my workflow because it allows me to do all sorts of cool things. Number one, though, on my list is installing dev files. So sometimes developers will be nice and they'll send me a dev file, uh, they'll send me a, a jailbreak tweak, and I can actually install it directly from iFile just by tapping on it like this and then tapping where it says installer, and that will install that particular uh, jailbreak tweak. It also allows me to unzip files. It allows me to browse the default file structure of iOS, and it's just overall handy. It is an absolute staple jailbreak app that allows me basically to have like a, a mini finder on iOS. Now, the last tweak on my absolute must-have list is called My3G. Now, I can show you why this is so useful just in a few little taps here. So I'm going to open up the App Store here, and I am on the Asphalt 8 Airborne uh, game page. Now, look at the size of this file. It is 1.15 gigabytes. Now, you're just gonna have to take my word for it that I am actually connected to LTE. And actually, I'm gonna just show you here. You see the, the Wi-Fi, it is off. You see Wi-Fi is off right now. I'm not connected to Wi-Fi, so even though my status bar says it, that's just because I'm screencasting. Even though the status bar is cleaned up, it shows Wi-Fi, I'm actually connected to cellular right now. Um, so let me show you what happens. I'm gonna tap the download button here, and this will not pop up and give me an error and saying the file's too big to download over cellular, but it actually starts the download. So I could download all gig, uh, all 1.15 gigs, directly to my uh, iPhone over cellular, just like that with no problems. I can even play YouTube in a uh, high definition over LTE. I can even have TweetBot streaming because normally TweetBot only allows you to stream over cell or over Wi-Fi. I can actually stream over cellular. You see where it says streaming there? I'm connected to cellular right now 
and I can even stream over cellular, which is really cool. So that is why I use my 3G. So folks, definitely check the post out on iDownload blog where I round up all eight of these must have jailbreak apps or tweaks um, and why you absolutely need them on your device, or at least why I need them, why I use them. Hopefully, I think most of you guys will find all of these. Uh, maybe you won't find touch pose absolutely necessary because you don't do screencasts and things like that, but I would be willing to guess that most of you will find at least seven, six to seven of these tweaks to be absolute staples on your device. And maybe you learned something, maybe you found something that you haven't used yet that you absolutely must use going forward. So hopefully uh, this video was able to help you out. Folks, I'm very interested to hear what you think. Have I left anything off this list that you deem as an absolute staple? Of course, I've left a lot of the luxuries off. There are other tweaks and stuff that I use definitely. Like this is not my full list of jailbreak apps and tweaks, but I wanted to highlight the staple absolutely must have tweaks that I just couldn't live without. And I couldn't get my work done in an adequate fashion without. I need these tweaks, folks. And I, I wanna hear what you have to say about it. So let me know what you think down below in the comment section. This is Jeff with iDownloadBlog.